will take you on a 3D tour of the solar system via Stellarium Mobile Plus. Starting with our local star, the Sun. The Sun is the center of the solar system. It is where all planets orbit. On its surface, we can observe sunspots. These are areas that are generally cooler compared to other parts of the Sun. The Sun is our main source of energy. Without it, life as we know it would not exist. Now we'll travel to the Sun's nearest neighbor, Mercury. With a distance of 36 million miles, Mercury is the nearest planet to the Sun. You may think Mercury is the hottest planet in our solar system because of its distance, but surprisingly, it is not. Nevertheless, Mercury is known as the smallest planet in our solar system with a diameter of 3,032 miles or a little bit more than one-third the size of the Earth. Next in our tour, we have a planet most commonly referred to as the morning star or the evening star, Venus. Venus is the brightest object in the sky next to the sun and the moon. Venus is the second closest planet to the sun. Its atmosphere is composed of thick and toxic greenhouse gases which traps heat in the planet. This is the reason why Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Before we move on to other planets, let us have a look at our very own natural satellite, the Moon. The Moon is responsible for the tides we experience on Earth. It is tidally locked to the Earth which means we can only see one side of the Moon from our view. Its surface has a lot of impact craters and mares. Among these is the famous Tycho Crater. Next up, let us venture on the red planet, Mars. Mars is called the red planet because of the iron oxide on its surface. This compound is also responsible for the color of rust. Like Earth, Mars has polar ice caps. This is the reason why scientists believe that at some point in the past, Mars had liquid water. Next in our list, we have the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. Jupiter is a gas giant. It consisted mainly of hydrogen and helium. In its atmosphere, we can observe stripes and swirls. These are storms in its atmosphere. Jupiter has over 60 moons orbiting around it. Among these were the Galilean moons, Io, Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto, which were first discovered by Galileo Galilei. After Jupiter, we would now discuss the planet that is most famous for its rings, Saturn. Its rings are mostly consist of ice and dust that were accumulated because of Saturn's moons. Like Jupiter, Saturn is a gas giant and has a lot of moons. The most famous moons of Saturn include Enceladus, Titan, and Rhea. Now we'll move on to the seventh planet in the solar system, Uranus. Many people don't notice it, but like Saturn, Uranus has icy rings. Another cool fact about Uranus is that it rotates on its side. Its axis is tilted by almost 98 degrees, and it's responsible for the weird seasonal patterns on the planet. <music> Lastly, we have the most distant planet in our solar system, Neptune. Neptune is an ice giant. It is mainly composed of water, methane, and ammonia. Neptune's atmosphere has visible and active weather patterns. Among these, 
the great tax spot is the most famous. That concludes our tour. Did you like it? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe to our channel for the latest news and features about Stellarium and astronomy.